what I think I'm most worried about for them is just the effect of the isolating effect of technology. And so, I mean, I'll give you an example. I, I have a young employee. Um, his first girlfriend was at age 24, which is, which is very late, but it's not, he's not atypical. Like a lot of young people, their kind of development timeline has shifted to much later in life. Right. So like driver's license, like we would get it at 16. They might get it at like 18 or 20, you know, first kind of serious relationship with a boy or girl, like much later, you know, maybe ours was 13, 14, 15. Theirs is like, you know, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I think it's because of technology, right? So you're just, you're, you're, you're playing video games, you're consuming kind of videos, you can, you know, there's like pornography, there's all this stuff that kind of can, can allow you to be isolated, but still kind of simulate like human contact. And so, you know, with AI, like girlfriends or boyfriends, potentially for like young people, like that's the thing I'm most worried about for my kids, just because it's going to get powerful. And I don't want them to lead that life of like high technology and low human contact. I think it's very, very treacherous. My hope, right, is that like deep down, um, there's the human spirit, right? And, and the human spirit knows like what it wants and like what feels right. And I feel like, like even now, like talking about what you're talking about, there, there's definitely things to be concerned about, but at the same time, there, there's, there's a renaissance going on when it comes to so many things. You know, like, especially the, the fact that, you know, it, it's a double-edged sword. We, we have so much information, which is almost too much, or it is yeah. too much. But at the same time, we have access to so much information. So things like ancient histories and ancient ways of doing things. And, you know, those things are kind of having this renaissance as well. So people are going, wait, my, my grandparents didn't do this, or they didn't eat that or whatever. Like, this is how they did things. I'm going to try and do that a little bit. So it, it almost feels like this, this, this battle that's going mm -hmm. on at the moment, doesn't it? Like digital versus Renaissance stuff, like old school stuff. And it's a, in a way, it's kind of a nice time to be alive. And, and I, I don't know, I just have like faith that, that the human spirit knows what it wants and it's going to go, listen, okay, we tried the digital stuff and it's got lots of great benefits, but actually we need to find a real like comfortable middle ground. I like your your attitude. I mean, you you've got that kind of optimistic message and I think you're right. I mean, like we're having this conversation right now. Would we have met, you know, without uh this technology, without X? I mean, like I I've met so many amazing people. I've had conversations with people all around the world and I'm listening to podcasts that are just fascinating to me. I mean, just amazing people. And you know, like I I I restored a 1972 triumph trophy that was in like basket like boxes it was a basket case and i did it all by watching a guy in britain who recorded every repair video to his bonneville it was close enough to mine i would take my laptop out there i would play it i would fix it play it fix and i and now this motorcycle runs better than the day it came off the factory assembly line like the amount of beneficial material that we have access to you're right, is amazing. And it does feel like we had that kind of movement in the 60s where it was like a back to nature kind of hippie movement. And it does kind of feel like we're almost having another one of those movements where people have been like, okay, enough, you know, video games and like TikToks, like I want to farm. I mean, it's weird. Like if I post something about my greenhouse or my orchard or people are like, Oh my God, tell me about that. You know? And it's like, okay. You know, like I, I, typically I'm, I'm thinking, Oh, the most beneficial thing I can post is something about like investing or entrepreneurship. And then I'll just like happen to post like a picture of my greenhouse. And it's like, that's what people are interested in. It does feel like there's a movement kind of happening now.